So today I am standing in front of a very unusual instrument. This is actually an organ and it's called a band organ. And essentially what it is, is it's kind of like a player piano where you insert a roll and then it will play the music off of the roll. But it's not only an organ, we also have a glockenspiel and there's also a, a bass drum and a cymbal. And I think there might also be like a kind of a bassoon kind of instrument. It might be just really low reed pipes or something in there as well. So basically this is called a band organ and it's a really, really cool thing. Uh, this is, from what I understand, the uh, founder of the music store that I'm at, which if you're interested in coming here and checking out this really cool store, I'll put their information in the description of this video. The founder of this music store had a, an older version of one of these that I think was made in Italy, and he absolutely loved it. He'd take it out and tow it behind a fire truck and do parades with it from what I've heard and all kinds of cool things, but eventually he ended up selling it, but he missed it. So what he had done is he had this commissioned for him, and it took about 15 years to build its uh, very, very fancy organ with lots of cool features, and it works in perfect condition. Everything on it works. These are lights, which you'll see here in a minute. They're quite warm. It was actually just running a minute ago. And uh, we have yellow ones and red ones, and of course, they're standard light bulbs. You could put in any colors you want. But the rest of the organ is white and red and yellow, so it matches the theme. As you can see here, what's kind of cool is we have a very fancy uh, logo here that says Cap Piano Company, and that is actually not the name of the person who made it. That's the name of the, comp of the piano store that we're in right now. It's called Cap Piano Company. So when this instrument was commissioned, they had the name of the piano store put right on the instrument, which looked very impressive and very professional. It looks really, really cool. So these right here are, I believe these are uh, flute pipes for the organ part of it. I imagine this, these little mushrooms on top are for the tuning part of it, but I could be wrong on that, but I think that's what they might be there for. And then down here we have the glockenspiel, and these little hammers here would actually swing forward when activated by pneumatics. It looks like they're attached to bellows. So when the bellows compress the uh, little uh, mallets and hammers will swing forwards and hit the glockenspiel in cue with the music and they will sound very, very cool. And over on the right half of the instrument, we have a bass drum as well as a cymbal that are simply just your standard cymbal and bass drum from a drum kit that are mounted and behind them are uh, mechanics that make them activate, which I think is really, really cool. So I'm going to give you a minute to just take a look at it. We have all these really cool hand-painted scenes. We've got one up on top with some elk by a mountain. These are really well-done paintings, and uh, they're really awesome. They're all kind of like mountain-themed and wilderness-themed. There's one down there on the right of the cute little log cabin in the middle of nowhere. And then over here on the left, we have just a painting of a really cool waterfall. And then over here on the far left, we have another wilderness scene, which is very, very well done. Now, in case you're noticing all this stuff over here, this is a snare drum, first of all, that goes with the instrument. I'm sure there's a little uh, mallet behind it. Yes, it looks like there is that will power it, and that also is part of this instrument. This is some Wizard of Oz um, memorabilia and uh, little toys and stuff because the role that they have installed, and the only role they have installed that they ever play on this instrument is the Wizard of Oz theme. It's kind of like a mashup of Over the Rainbow and The Witch is Dead and all kinds of themes from the song, from the movie. And uh, it's very fitting for the instrument because if you look at it, it's very fantastical and it kind of has a magical air to it, especially for uh, young children. The owner of the store tells me that young children are absolutely absolutely blown away by it. I'm completely blown away by it. I think it's completely awesome, and hopefully you guys are too. So let's fire it up and hear a demonstration of it.
let me know what you thought of this custom built band organ. I have never seen anything quite like this before. I've seen player pianos that have miniature organs built into them, but I've never seen a fully playable um, automatic playing organ. I think it's so cool, and I've never seen anything quite like it. So let me know what you guys thought of it as well. Have you ever seen one of these? What do you think of it? I think it sounds completely awesome, and I love it, and uh, it's absolutely amazing. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. It's such a cool instrument, and it's really, really amazing. If you're interested in seeing some videos on more normal organs that you can actually play, I have quite an assortment of organ videos on my channel, as well as videos on pianos, like the ones that I'm completely surrounded by right now. I am in a piano store after all. And once again, if you're interested in where I found this instrument, as well as many of the other pianos that are here, uh, you, the information for the store will be in the description of the video. And if you're in this area, I really advise you come in here. It's, it's, it's not only a piano store, but we have awesome things like this and really fancy music boxes and pianos, player pianos from the 1700s. It's, it's wild. It's absolutely wild. So once again, I really love being at the store. And uh, if you're interested in where it is, it'll be in the description. And if you want to go check out my channel, you can do that too. I've got lots of videos on pianos, organs. Like I said, if you want to subscribe, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.